In this GlowShift Gauges installation video, we'll show you how to install a GlowShift 7 Color Series diesel gauge package into your 92 to 97 Ford F Series truck. When you're ready, grab your tools and we'll meet you in the garage. The additional accessories featured in this video will make installation easier and can be purchased through our website. For the purpose of this installation, we'll be using a 1997 Ford F-Series to install our gauges. For safety, disconnect both negative battery terminals before starting any work on the truck. To install the boost line, start by locating the map line on the passenger side of the engine bay and mocking up the location of the boost line T-fitting. Cut the line and install the T-fitting using the included hose clamps. Wrap the boost line adapter with Teflon tape and insert it into the T-fitting. Hold the T-fitting with a 1 half inch wrench and tighten the boost line adapter using an 11 millimeter wrench. Place the female brass ferrule fitting cap onto one end of the boost line followed by the brass ferrule fitting. Ensure the ferrule fitting is facing toward the adapter to prevent any leaks. Then insert the line into the adapter and tighten using a 3 8 inch wrench. Do not over tighten the fittings. Run the boost line to the driver side firewall securing it away from any hot or moving parts. To install the fuel pressure sensor, start by removing the engine cover. Locate the fuel filter housing and remove the driver's side Schrader valve using a 7 16 wrench. Use a drain pan to catch any fuel that may drain from the filter housing. Thread the pressure sensor into the fuel filter housing and tighten it using a 22 millimeter wrench. Connect the pressure sensor harness and run the opposite end of the wire to the driver's side firewall, keeping it clear of any hot or moving parts. Reinstall the engine cover. To install the transmission temperature sensor, start by safely raising the vehicle if it is not already raised. Place a drain pan under the driver's side of the transmission and remove the test port bolt using an 11 millimeter socket. Wrap the temperature sensor with Teflon tape and insert it into the test port. Tighten it using a 14 millimeter wrench. Wipe away any transmission fluid. Attach the female silver connector and the longer rubber cover to one end of the green wire from the four gauge wiring harness.
Then attach the male silver connector and short rubber cover to the end of the black wire from the four gauge wiring harness. Connect the black wire to the black wire from the temperature sensor and connect the green wire to the white wire from the sensor. Run the opposite end of the wires around the transmission and up through the engine bay on the driver's side, securing them away from any hot or moving parts. To install the exhaust temperature probe, locate a flat portion of the manifold and use a punch to mark the location for drilling. Starting with a 1 8 drill bit, drill a hole in the manifold, increasing the bit size until a size R is reached. Use a 1 8 27 NPT tap to thread the hole. Cutting oil can be used to make threading the hole easier. Use a shop vac and pen magnet to clean up the metal shavings. Apply anti-seize to the EGT probe adapter, insert it into the manifold, and tighten using a 14 millimeter wrench. Apply anti-seize to the adapter and insert the exhaust temperature probe. Ensure that the depth of the probe is approximately halfway into the manifold and tighten using a 14 millimeter wrench. Run the probe wire to the driver's side of the engine bay. With the truck back on the ground, pull the EGT probe wire and transmission temperature sensor wires up through the engine bay, keeping them clear of any hot or moving parts. Connect the braided EGT sensor harness to the EGT probe and feed the EGT harness, fuel pressure harness, green transmission sensor wire and boost line through an open grommet in the firewall and into the cabin. Be sure to keep them clear of any moving parts. Attach a ring terminal connector to the black wire from the transmission temperature sensor. Connect the wire to a clean, reliable grounding source in the engine bay. Using a Phillip head screwdriver, remove the screws holding the lower trim and the factory pillar. Remove 
Remove the factory pillar and run the sensor wires up through the side of the dash. Insert the transmission temperature wiring harness into the back of the trans temp gauge and place the gauge into the pod. Insert the fuel pressure power harness into the back of the fuel pressure gauge and place the gauge into the pod. Insert the EGT power harness into the back of the EGT gauge and place the gauge into the pod. Apply Teflon tape to the fitting on the back of the boost gauge and attach the boost line adapter. Tighten it using a 13 millimeter wrench. Do not over tighten the adapter as it will damage the gauge. Then feed the wires for the boost gauge through the pod and insert the gauge into the cup. Place the pod onto the factory pillar and carefully drill small holes in the factory pillar under each cup. Remove the pod from the pillar and using a stepper drill bit, drill the marked holes until they are wide enough for the gauge wires to pass through. Once the holes are drilled, run the wires from each gauge through the pillar. Using the yellow wire from the four gauge wiring harness, connect all of the yellow wires together. Using the red wire from the four gauge wiring harness, connect all of the red wires together. Using the orange wire from the four gauge wiring harness, connect all of the orange wires together. Using the black wire from the four gauge wiring harness, connect all of the black wires together. Use zip ties to clean up the wires.
Using a wire connector, connect the green wire from the transmission temperature sensor to the green wire from the gauge power harness. Feed the fuel pressure sensor wire through the pod and plug it into the back of the gauge. Then feed the EGT probe wire through the pod and plug it into the back of the gauge. To connect the boost line to the back of the boost gauge, run the boost line through the pod. Place the brass ferrule fitting cap over the line followed by the brass ferrule fitting. Ensure the ferrule fitting is facing the gauge to prevent any leaks. Place the boost line into the adapter and tighten the nut onto the gauge using a 3 8 inch wrench. Do not over tighten the fitting. Place the pod onto the pillar. Ensure that the top of the pillar is fully tucked into the headliner trim and use the factory screws to secure the pod to the pillar. Remove the headlight switch cover and small dash trim pieces to gain access to the trim screws. Use a 7mm socket or nut driver to remove the screws. Then remove the dash trim and disconnect the fuel tank switch power harness. Use a 7mm socket or nut driver to remove the headlight switch. In order to test for power, reconnect the negative battery terminals. Using a test light, locate the brown wire that receives 12 volt power when the headlights are turned on. Attach a wiretap connector to the headlight wire. Run the orange wire from the gauges through the dash to the headlight switch location. Trim the wire and attach a wire connector. Place it into the connector on the headlight wire and reinstall the switch securing it with the factory bolts. Plug the fuel tank switch harness into the dash panel and reinstall the panel.
Secure the panel using the factory screws and reinstall the headlight switch cover and trim panels. For this installation, we'll be powering the gauges using expandable circuits which can be purchased through our website. Use a 7mm socket or nut driver to remove the kick panel screws and lower the kick panel to gain access to the fuse box. Feed the red and yellow wires from the gauge pod through the dash to the fuse box. Using a test light, locate fuse 8 for constant 12 volt power. Then locate fuse 11 that receives 12 volt power when the ignition is turned on. Attach the first expandable circuit to the yellow wire from the gauges. Remove the constant 12 volt fuse, place it into the circuit and place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Attach the second expandable circuit to the red wire from the gauges. Remove the 12 volt ignition fuse, place it into the circuit, and place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Connect the black wire from the gauges to the top screw securing the hood pop lever. Clean up all the wires and tuck them under the dash, keeping them clear of any moving parts. Reinstall the kick panel and secure it using the factory screws. Reinstall the fuse box cover and any other panels that were removed. Be sure to check the level of the transmission fluid and top off with the factory recommended transmission fluid if necessary. Power your gauges by starting the vehicle to verify that everything is working properly and there are no leaks. You've now successfully installed your GlowShip diesel gauge package into your truck. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please contact us at 1-888-GS-GAGE and we'll see you on the road.